Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. This is part 36 and we are in the final stretches of the game. We are here at the Tandor Championship site. And, fun fact about this game, at this point in the game is terrifying. So, that being said, we have a little bit of a team here. Everyone's trained up, nice and level 72. I decided on 72 because I did feel, honestly, I did feel a little bit afraid. <laughs> so we went with 72, instead of 70, I got some guidance from a friend. We were like, yeah, 72 seems like a good midpoint. We don't want to be too overleveled. We don't want to be too underleveled. We don't want to just go in there and get wrecked. So starting this off, we have Garlic Kid, Onion Boy, here, Grass Fighting type, Bold Nature. Very, very nice attack. Honestly, he got, he got EV trained a little bit because they didn't want to hit a little bit harder. But he's got very nice attack and speed. Can take a hit reasonably well. Justified boost. We're going to see if we can get that to activate at all because these matches are going to be fairly competitive. Drain Punch, Mark Punch, Giga Drain, and Earthquake. Earthquake has been retaught. I got rid of Strength, thankfully, so that should be a lot better. We also have Mega Gloob, our S51A. Not currently holding its Mega Stone. No one's currently holding an item. We're going to decide on items after this. Psychic Steel type, Neutral Nature with amazing special attack, pretty good speed too when he mega evolves, gets very very bulky, very very nice, with levitate, something I don't think I've really taken into account, because I do forget we have levitate, but if we're mega evolving, we're gonna have mega launcher, so I shouldn't think that, but that is something that we can definitely play around with if we need to. With psychic, flash cannon, dark pulse, and thunderbolt, we have siren tide, our water fairy here, mainly for barriette, but here for other things too. Shark Bay, um, Naive Nature, so plus speed, although it's not a very fast Pokemon, but it's got some level of bulk to it. It's got quite a bit of HP trained into it now. It's gonna hit a little bit hard because it's got that special attack. Uh, EV's 255, so I mean, that's pretty nice. Uh, with the Swift Swim, which is probably never gonna activate, with Surf, Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, and Aqua Ring, we're gonna quickly go through TMs and stuff after this as well, just in case there's any changes. We have Nucleon. Does anything need to be said about Nucleon? I think Nucleon is pretty, uh, pretty obvious at this point. We have either the Nucleon, Nuclear Typing, obviously, Naive Nature, plus speed, very, very fast, very, very strong, with that Hyper Voice. Realistically, only using Hyper Voice. Half-Life might be useful if we have to, like, sacrifice it, but for the most part, like, Hyper Voice. We also have Yatagai, you Storm finally evolved into this monster, and I'm not gonna lie, this thing is ridiculous. Uh, Electric Dragon with a bold nature, so we're a little bit more defensive. Overall though, it doesn't really matter. We are very fast, we are very strong, and it has the ability Stormbringer, and I want to talk about this for a moment because this is ridiculous. The Pokemon starts a Thunderstorm if it appears in battle. Sounds, sounds pretty nice, right? It's like, Drizzle? Yeah? No. No, 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 no. No. So much stronger. So, every odd numbered turn, I think, it will strike down a piece of lightning, or a piece of lightning, a thunderstorm, it'll do a lightning strike, and it will attack the enemy depending on how weak they are to flying, how weak they are to electric even, not flying, ignore me. So, for example, if a flying type comes in, it's gonna take 25% of its health. It's a bit like Stealth Rocks, but every odd number turn is gonna do a lot of damage. And it also allows funders to never miss. So we are running Dragon Pulse, Nasty Plot, Feather Dance, and Thunder. Feather Dance. We're gonna try and replace Feather Dance with something. I just don't know what. Because Feather Dance doesn't seem too useful. It might have its use, but at the moment, I'm thinking about choice specsing this into Thunder. Because that would hurt like a. It just. Oh, not a lot is gonna be like that. And finally, we have Glazy, the Fafninter, Ice Dragon, Bashful Nature, lots of HP, lots of defenses. Overall, just pretty tanky. Ice Shard, Earthquake, Avalanche, and Dragon Claw. So. As for items and TMs, we're going to go through TMs first because I'm a little bit curious about what uh, what certain types of Pokemon can learn. Because at the moment, we don't have a lot. So, like, it would be great if we had some Pokemon that could get an Ice Beam, like uh, this one right here. Yes, Ice Beam, please. Because Hyper Voice isn't very good. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to keep Aqua Ring. It sounds weird, but if there is no recovery and... Aqua Ring proves to be useful, then we can just teach Aqua Ring and see how it goes. We could also teach it Rain Dance to get that Swift Swim boost. Ooh, we could do that. We could teach it. Oh, that could be really nice. Honestly, if there's nothing else, I'm teaching it Rain Dance. So can anyone learn Giga Drain? Can anyone learn Giga Drain? No. Apart from Onion Boy, who already has it. So that's fine. That's fine. We're just testing things here. Can anyone learn Thunderbolt? I'm going for all the powerful TMs, seeing if anyone can learn it. Obviously, Storm can learn it, but Thunder is going to be accurate anyway, so we don't have anything to worry about. Earthquake, can anyone learn Earthquake? Everyone that can learn Earthquake already has Earthquake. It says a lot about me and uh, liking Earthquake. Shadow Ball. We can teach Storm Shadow Ball. 
That is a good thing to keep in mind. Shadow Ball may be what we resort to on that. We could teach Double Team. Double Team's scummy. I don't like that. We can teach... Can we land Flamethrower? Oh, if we could land Flamethrower, that'd be great, but it can't, sadly. Uh, what else do we have? That's a good move. I'm not just... Overheat? Can't land Overheat. Gloob can land Overheat. Gloob can learn Overheat. Hmm. <laughs> Thunderbolt is nice, but we have an Electric type. I really wouldn't mind having a Fire type move. Overheat is such a drawback. It, I can't. I can't bring myself to do it. Silver Wind. This could be a fun move to run if anyone can learn it. Gloob. Okay, Gloob. You learn a lot of moves. I'm learning that now. Uh, can anyone learn Shadow Claw? Probably not. Maybe Garlic Kid, but yeah, Garlic Kid, you don't need Shadow Claw. You're fine without it. Honestly, I'm happy without it. Stone Edge, pretty sure we already looked at Stone Edge and Earthquake, like, pretty similar times, so we already know that isn't going to be a thing. Dark Pulse, if you ask Guy, you can learn Dark Pulse. I might teach a Dark Pulse. Right, this is a decision that we're making here with these TMs, basically. Do we want Dark Pulse on Storm, or do we want Shadow Ball? Honestly? They're very similar in what they do. In what they hit for super effective, they are very similar. So I think I'd rather go with Dark Pulse for the finish chance. So... We're gonna get rid of Feather Dance, because I don't see Feather Dance being useful. I'm gonna keep Nasty Plot for if uh, Choice Specs doesn't work out too well. I'm pretty sure, unless someone fancy can learn like Flash Cannon or something, yeah, no one can learn Flash Cannon. I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna be rocking with. Dazzling Gleam, that's a new TM that I picked up that I forgot I had. Um, we already have Moonblast on Shark Bay though, so there's no need for that. Caustic Breath. Uh, we could teach that to Storm. What does this do exactly? Damages opposing Pokemon and lowers its defense and special defense. That sounds really good. But we do have Dragon Pulse anyway. I'm gonna stick with Dragon Pulse because I know it's base power and stuff like that. So that's gonna be all of that. Now, as for our items that we are putting onto our Pokemon, this is where we uh, we give a Focus Sash to Nucleon with our Dao. We have six of them. <laughs> I'm prepared for the worst, okay? Um, we do have Choice Specs, which at the moment I'm going to put on Storm. That may change. I don't know. Um, we can give the Nevermelt Ice to Glacy. I'm pretty sure I want to stick with that. Have them powerful Ice type moves. Pretty sure I want to stick with the Pretty Ribboned Power Up. Um, Fairy type moves on Siren Tide. No one's going to be using Eevee Light, thankfully. Never went and did this Gold Fossil, so if that's not a Rock type, I'm going to be upset. Um, the Unidentified Fallen Object, obviously going to be on Gloom. No reason not to run Mega, in my opinion. It's a really good Mega, so I will happily run that. This is where. This, this, now we get to the Pokemon that I don't really like too much. I'm going to be honest. Garlic Kid. It's not a bad Pokemon, it just. Its typing is very, very weak. It's a very, very weak typing. So, I'm tempted to Choice Band it. I'm really tempted to Choice Band it into Drain Punch. But there could be times when, for example, we want to use Giga Drain, but that's not very useful. Because it never learned a special grass type move, sadly. If we could learn, like, Leaf Blade, that'd have been great. So, I think we're going to actually run Expert Belt. Because there's no way we're going to have Garlic Kid in on anything that it isn't really super effective against. So that being said, it's time, it's time, it's time for the scary part of the game right here. We're going to make sure that we are fully healed up, because I'm not sure if I'm 100% on all my PP. And we're going to go and have a look at how this arena goes. So I am terrified. I am actually terrified. I am, I am shaking in my boots, so to speak. I don't really have a perfect lead, because I don't really have Volt Switch or anything. Do I have Volt Switch? I've just been through my TMs. I don't think I have Volt Switch. So I kind of want to leave with Storm, because Storm is powerful. We can set up that um, Electric Terrain. But then that makes it very, very difficult for us to swap into Siren Tide. That's my issue. Because Siren Tide would then be weak to the Electric Terrain. It'd be taking a quarter of its health every couple of turns, and that starts to really become a problem. So leading with that is probably the worst thing I could do. Gloop has the most coverage. In all honesty, Gloob is, the, Gloob is our coverage Pokemon. Wait, Carlos. Oh no. Carlos, you didn't think I was going to miss your League Challenge, did you? I came here as fast as I could when I heard you were making your way through Victory Road. There's no way I'd miss this. After all, I was there when it all began. Carlos, I know that I haven't always been there for you. I realize that now, but I'm determined to make up for it. I promise I won't miss a minute of your rise to glory. 
After all, you're my child. What else should a father do? I'm scared. Hey, have you seen Theo? I thought he'd be with you somehow. We're fighting Theo. I'm certain of it. Theo and Cameron left the Ranger HQ some time ago. I, too, thought they'd be here. But I guess not. After all, they're both still recovering from their battles against Kiri. They're both going to be in this. Hey, wait up. Oh, they are at- Oh, 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 they are here. You thought you were going to challenge the league without me? Ha, as if I'd make it that easy on you, Carlos. We're rivals, so that means wherever you go, I'll be there too. Oh, no. Oh, I don't want to fight Mega Electrox, so. <laughs> I will be watching as well, of course. I fully expect to see both of you make it to the final round. Well, that's <laughs> foreshadowing much. Ha ha ha, you can bet on me, Dad. Well, Carlos, I gotta go make some final preparations. My Pokemon will be in tip-top shape. See you in the arena. Can you, like, give me an idea as to what levels you're gonna have Theo? I'd love to know. After all this time, and everything he's been through, he's still filled with energy. That kid's fighting spirit can't be stopped. If it comes down to you and Theo in the final, Carlos, I wonder which of you will come out on top. Only time will tell. Anyway, we're going to go take our seats. Good luck out there, I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Beyond this point is the Tandor Championship Arena. Once you begin, you must continue until either you win or are defeated. Also, no items may be used in battle other than what your Pokemon already hold. <sighs> we're ready. I don't like clicking that button. I don't like clicking that button. But we're here, round one, Carlos versus Angelica. Prepare your teams for battle and report to the league attendant when you are ready. Oh my god, this has a... This has a feel to it. Our sophisticated strategy will overcome the trainers of a lower class. Hey, yeah, I have honed my skills as a surfer and ninja. My command... No, no, shush. I alone command the incredible... Wait, Viren? Like the gym leader? Hello? Do you mind? Is that you? Is this him? Oh, no. Oh, that means there's gym leaders in this, isn't there? Okay. Gloop. Gloob, you're honestly our best lead. Let's go. Let's go. We're, we're just gonna get into this. First round, let's see how this goes. Angelica. Angelica. Angel. Fairies? Send out fairies. Be a fairy gym leader that we didn't know we had, please. Gloob is leading. That'd be so perfect. I'd be so happy. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, people of Tandor. Welcome to the first round of our Pokemon League tournament. We have some of our Tandor's best and brightest here to dazzle you with their spectacular battling skills. I can feel the anticipation in the air. These trainers have spent their entire lives preparing for this moment. But only one will be crowned champion today. Who will it be? These trainers' skill in battle will determine that answer. Oh, I'm so excited. That sounds so creepy with that voice. <laughs> that sounds so creepy. Wow. You look like a really strong trainer. Um, I'm Angelica, and I train fairy types. Yes, 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 yes. We're cute, but don't let it fool you. We're really strong too. After all, fairies can strand up to the power of dragons, so we aren't afraid of any tough looking trainers either. If you aren't acquainted with the power of fairies, then you'll know soon enough. I have two dragon types. Oh dear, <laughs> this is not good. Uh, no items may be used. Battle will continue until either side has no Pokemon left that can fight. Don't say that. That's not happening. Don't say that. Gloob, you're gonna sweep right now. Gloob, please. Nimflora, that's a nice start for us. We can flash cannon that really, really safely. The one thing we do have to keep in mind is damage is gonna rack up on us. So we aren't just gonna be able to like potion up, take hits for days. Damage is definitely gonna rack up. So we do have to think this could this see this is gonna get annoying. That U-turn damage, that's damage that I can't like remove. That's damage that's staying. There's no potioning. And I don't like that. But flash cannon is gonna do a really solid amount. So we can flash cannon again. I haven't PP up any of my Pokemon's moves, which I am definitely gonna change after this match. Al Pico. So this is an ice type, meaning it's a nightmare for us to go up against with anything with glue. Um, but a flash cannon will easily remove this thing. We outspeed it, that's great. I'm sure this thing is just fast. I'm actually certain this thing is just really fast, so that's a really good thing to get gone. Okay, that's really nice. Nymphlora, okay. Okay, Nymphlora... Nymphlora is in that awkward spot where it kind of hits all of my Pokémon pretty well. But I don't just want to take U-turn damage over and over again. However, oh, we have speed this time because we're Mega Evolved. That's nice. That's nice. That's gone. That's gone. This glue. This first match, okay. I may have been a little bit scared for nothing. This first match might go better than I thought. Sylveon, yeah, we... <laughs> Seriously, fairies, we only have one real check to, so this is not a great start for us. Like, if we lose Gloob, 
I'm gonna stop talking right there. We are not losing blue. Okay, we get special defense drop that doesn't matter unless he like wishes. Moonblast, okay, that's fine. We resist that, that's okay. That shouldn't do too much. That does nothing, that's great. That's absolutely wonderful. We're gonna Thunderbolt. Oh, I was gonna Thunderbolt just because that would kill, but I spoke too soon. That Thunderbolt still does a really good amount. We can Flash Cannon to finish it because it's slow. So this fight went really well. I'm, I'm excited. This fight went very, very well. These are level 70, meaning the championship probably going to be higher than 70. This may have been a high midpoint. I feel like 70 may have been what to go to. But there is no healing. This is the first match. I don't know if they're going to go up each match. I don't know if next match they're going to be all level 71. That would be kind of crazy. Siren Tide? I have to do it. I have to do it. I'm sorry. I have to do it. I don't care if this is Choice Scar. I, I just, no, I have to do it. I'm thundering, I'm thundering this thing. I don't even care. Thunderstorm started. I want to click this button. I want to click this button. Thunder, goodbye. 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 <laughs> goodbye. That's what I want to see. That's what I really want to see. I want to see Storm do that. That's beautiful. Okay, one down. I don't know how many battles we have to do. I'm assuming five. I can see Cameron in the crowd. I can see Cameron, um, Bambo, and our father in the crowd. That's kind of crazy. I like that. We tried our hardest in battle, and that's what counts. What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Up next, round two. Carlos vs. Sir Goldcock. Again? This guy! I should remember his team right now, but I don't. Oh, I feel like such an idiot. Okay, right, we're PP upping Thunder. Oh, we get healed. Oh, that's really good. I was ready to PP up Flash Cannon and Elixir and shit. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. That's really good. Um, in that case, what else do we want to PP up? Honestly, I just want Thunders. I really want Thunders. Okay, that's really good. Um, I'm actually going to Ether that Thunder. Because why not, really? Because <laughs> why not? So that's really good. That's actually really, really good. If they heal my team each time, does that mean it revives Pokemon? There's no way. There's no way I'm not lucky. I'm gonna shush. That, that's not happening. Um, Sir Goldcorn. Goldcorn, what did you... What did he have? What did he have? I'm trying really hard to remember and I don't remember. We're just gonna leave a Gloob again. We're gonna leave a Gloob again. We're gonna go for another round. This is probably gonna be a much more intense fight. Okay. Folks, we're back with round two. Both of these trainers took home a win in the previous round. Their strength is no joke. I can tell that they are both itching for another fight. Well, let's not delay. On with the match. I do say, have we perchance met before? I'm certain we have. You do leave quite an impression indeed. However, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Sir Goldcorn. I represent a refined style of battle. A tradition which is sadly going away, it seems. But I shall prove that refinement still has a place in the arena. Please allow us to have a clean, civil match. I want to crit him and hax him out so much for that. The rules of battle will be as follows. No items. Yeah, we know no items. We, yeah, we know this. We know this. Let's just get the battle on the way. Let's just get my fear started, okay? What's about to go wrong? Gentlemen, gold on Tanskior. Right. I did forget Tanskior was a Pokemon. Um, but it's fine. We can go into Onion Boy. Bait out the Dark type move. Uh, this Pokemon does have Drain Punch, so it's not like we're stuck. Crunch, that's that's fine, that's fine. Give me that Justify boost. That's all I'm after. That is actually all I'm after. No reason not to Drain Punch. Don't want to click Pokemon. No reason not to Drain Punch, in my opinion. Sudden Strike gives us another attack boost. Is this a Garlic Sweep on the second match? Is this happening? Is this going to happen? Because if that happens, I'll be a little bit happy inside, I'm not going to lie. We're negative attack nature. If we were Adamant right now... The damage. The damage that we could be having. Uh, Onion Boy gets a little bit... Okay, that's a Whimsicott that we can't hit at all. Whimsicott is quite an annoying Pokemon for everything but either. Such... I mean, we have Gloob. I use Gloob so much. I don't care. I am not losing Pokemon. I, Gloob is the Pokemon to go into. Gloob is our check to fairies, and everyone seems to have fairies at the moment. Why does everyone have so many fairies? Right, we can Mega Evolve, we can Flash Cannon. We probably aren't going to outspeed this turn, but we might even KO. Whimsicott isn't too bulky, unless it like Cotton Guards, and then it's defensive, so. Moonblast does nothing. This is going so much better than I thought. 
I was so afraid. I've heard of people leveling to like 75. That feels like overkill at this point in time. I could be wrong, but here alone, I'm gonna be honest, that's a ground fighting, ground fighting, ground. I'm sure it's ground fighting. I'm sure of it. I'm sure it's ground fighting. So this is fine. All of our moves are super effective against this thing. We'll go for the Moonblast, because it is the strongest, and we have the Pretty Ribbon. <laughs> Such a weird thing to be running, but we are running Pretty Ribbon, <laughs> Siren Tide. Um, he's gonna send out Splendor Foul. I remember this, this is fine. We can come out with Storm right now. Let's go Storm. Let's go Storm. Storm has left an impression on me, I'm gonna admit. Storm is kind of beautiful. I really like its design. And uh, this is Garchomp's cry, just for anyone curious. That was a lovely comment. Um, I'm very thankful to know that this is Garchomp's cry. It is very powerful. This is a very powerful Pokemon. There is no stopping this Pokemon. Ampharos, that that stops me a little bit. <laughs> that, that, just, just a little bit of stopping me right there. Um, we have Earthquake on Onion Boy. And we can't get hit by a Thunderbolt. I'm gonna go into it. I'm expecting Mega. So I'm expecting Dragon Pulse to still hit us. But I think we should be fine to just Earthquake. It's not Mega. Okay, right, Earthquake. That should be fine. You can't hit us with too much. Earthquake does so much. We get it by Signal Beam. That's still neutral. That's fine. That's actually fine. Goodbye. Get removed. We're gonna Drain Punch you, because that way we get a little bit of health back. Static. Don't static me. Don't static me. I should have gave you Drained. Okay. We didn't get the consequence, but we should have given a drink there. You played so seriously. <laughs> oh. oh, Thunderstorm's hitting us. Thankfully, we resist that. Barriette. This should be his last Pokemon. Part of me wants to Thunder it. I'm going to be honest. Part of me wants to just Thunder this Pokemon right now. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm d oh, I shouldn't be doing this. I should be Moonblasting it, but I don't want to bring that in and have it not kill. There's no way it wouldn't kill. Why am I doing this to myself? Thunder a better kill. How powerful is Storm? Storm, 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 Storm. You're too strong. You're too strong. Okay? Plus four special attack. 258 special attack. Too strong. Actually too strong. Goodness, that is quite a thorough route. I may require some tea and biscuits after this match. I hate this match so much. <laughs> if you like, you'd be welcome to join me. What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Oh. Next up, round three. Carlos vs. Hokage. So, water types. So, water types. So, water types is what he just said. I kind of want to leave with Onion Boy, I'm going to be honest. I mean, Boy and Storm are our level 73s right now. Those two are the ones that are also the ones that I want to level up. Um, Nucleon is probably the strongest Pokemon on our team. And it's the one I'm not using at the moment. It's weird. I mean, Glacy as well, but... Glacy... Ice is a difficult type to, to manage with. But uh, I guess we have enough time for... Why do I have a Repel up? Okay, ignoring the repel, we should have time for one more match. We're gonna get this started. I'm believing. I'm believing. Everything's gone really well so far. Am I jinxing myself? Of course. Would it be any fun without me saying stuff like that? We're back with round three, the quarterfinals. Okay, so we're gonna have the semifinals and the finals next episode, probably. That's gonna be terrifying. Of the 32 trainers that entered the arena today, only eight remain. These are among the toughest of Tandor, the paragons of our region. I can tell the crowd is loving this. It only gets more intense from here on out, folks. What could be in store for us for this round? Aha, it is Carlos. We fight before, I lose in disgrace. My ninja clan forsake me, so I train. I train and train, in hopes to encounter Carlos again. In this arena, we fight to regain honor. I will defeat you, and restore glory to my ninja clan. My ninja clan. Can we, can we get that clear? Mine. My ninja clan. Okay, I'm the Hokage now. Do you understand? Good. Rules of the battle are the same as before, I am sure. Yes, they are, and we will start this battle and see how this goes. So, Ninja Boss Hokage sends out Spawnery. That's, that's not great for us. That's actually not great for us. Um, uh, expecting a bug-type move. 
I'm gonna be honest. Storm, you're you're kind of forced in here. I'm gonna go into my best swap, obviously. I'm not trying to lose to everyone. Uh, we're gonna go with the Stormbringer. Stormbringer is nice. Uh, he's gonna bug buzz. I shouldn't do too much. Ooh. Stormbringer does some damage, though, which is nice. Um, we are choice specs into Thunder. We're, we're choice specing ourselves into Thunder. If he has a water ground type, that could be a problem. However, we can just swap into Garkid, so I'm not too worried. Blue Balrog. That is not a ground type. 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 Honestly, if they're weak to electric, I don't see Yatagayu really losing. I really don't. If it does, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Too real. See, part of me wants to go into Sirentide here in Moonblast, but then we take the uh, the crazy damage from our own Stormbringer ability. So as soon as I bring Storm in, I feel like I have to keep it in and sweep. This is such a strong Pokemon. This is such a strong Pokemon. I did not need to level this thing to 72. But what can I do? I leveled to the point where I thought I needed to be. I thought they were going to scale in level. I thought things were going to get more difficult. There is still the championship fight where obviously we could get completely demolished. But Thunderstorm subsides as Gyarados comes in. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't want Thunder to miss. Gloop has Thunderbolt. Gloop has Thunderbolt. Gloop. Why wouldn't I do this? Gloop has Thunderbolt. Okay, we're fine. Um... There's no way he's Earthquaking. I'm a little bit afraid of Mega Gyarados Crunch, but we haven't seen any Megas up to this point, so I'm just gonna Mega Evolve and Thunderbolt and hope for the best. If there's a Crunch coming in, I'm gonna be mad, but it shouldn't be a Crunch. No Crunch, we outspeed you, you're gone. You're gone, Gyarados, you're gone. Do you have a Berry? You don't have a Berry. You ain't got no Berry, you ain't got no Sash, you're gone. Gloob levels up, hits level 73. Daikatuna wants to come in. Daikatuna um, is about to feel the wrath of Onion Boy right now. I could quite easily bring Storm in and just completely one-shot it, but I want to I wanna let some variation happen. I want to let some other things hit the field. We're going to click Drain Punch. It's going to be nice. It's going to do really solid damage. It's going to KO it. Never mind. Screw damage. We can just KO everything. Okay, that is beautiful. Ninja Boss Hokage goes down. This started off so well. I'm honestly in awe of what has happened. Once again, I am shown defeat. How can I cope with such disgrace? To my home village, I return once again. What a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Do you have anything else interesting to say? Up next, round four, Carlos versus Veyron. Oh, he finally left this area. He finally left this area. But we're gonna round it up here and uh, and see how things go next episode. Because next episode, we're gonna be taking on Veyron, we know that, so we are expecting the Dragon and Ice team that is actually a little bit of a problem, but uh, we're gonna do our do our best with Shark Bait in front, because that way we can hit Dragon types and resist the Ice type hits as well. And for the moment, we are going to be just ending this here. I am, I am speaking like a fool. I am afraid of what is about to come, but you know what? So far, things have gone well. That's all for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye.